We have a senior pastor in our nation called Pastor Adebo of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. He told me. Hello, my family. Welcome again to Direct TV, bringing to you the truth. Welcome, guys, to this special episode of my video today. And right in today's video, guys, I'm here with the man of God, my person of the highly esteemed, Apostle Aramel Sai. And in today's video, guys, the man of God, Apostle Ramon Sai, is actually going to be speaking to us concerning um, when he went to Lagos and how um, they stole his car when he went to Lagos. And before they stole his car, the, um, the man of God, um, Pastor E. Adeboy, actually told him something in his dream concerning the fact that he shouldn't even look for the car. So this is just like a testimony on the ministry of the man of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboye. So guys, you got to listen to this. But before we dive into the video, for those of you coming new to my channel, just kindly the subscribe button, subscribe, and then like today's video. Watch this, I'll be right back. Posted to Lagos. My welcome to Lagos was that they stole my car. The Holy Spirit showed me three days before they stole it, in a dream, that people took my car. And when they took my car, I wanted to look for it. And we have a senior pastor in our nation called Pastor Adeboye. Of the redeemed christian church of god he told me he said don't look for that car go back don't look for it and i told my wife i said i saw how they drink they stole our car and pastor adebo he said i should not look for it three days later they stole our car i hope you know the instruction has already come all the people that had told me the criminal implication that my driver's license was in a car the people can go and use the car and rob and they will trace it to me that you go to the police station. That's what to do. I said, thank you. I've heard you. But I didn't obey them because I don't know them. I know Jesus. Someone can just come into your life now. He wants to, he wants to help you. Go to Canada. Help. I don't know you. Guys, sit down. It's only the voice I know I will follow. So they advised me, but it was already given to me that I should not look for it. So I didn't look for it. And I had each monthly salary I re received was enough to buy a car. And the, the Lord will not allow me to buy a car. And I did not buy one for seven years. Because he wanted me to know that the only security I had was him. That I don't need anything to add to the sense of my being. Oh, some of you believe that you'll be diminished if you exist without a car. You, don't, you have not gone far. You don't know him. Your, 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 um, your, your self-esteem, your, your estimation of yourself is diminished without a house in elephant and castle oh you have not yet loved it all right my family there you have it with the man of god by person of the highly esteemed apostle aroma osai the man that speaks truth all right guys so i believe you are blessed by that amazing testimony he gave concerning himself about the man of god apostle e. E. Deboye. all right and most times so, or sometimes god actually you know um or let me not say God actually, because sometimes many of the things that happen to you might be an opportunity for God to, you know, teach you something or even um, bless you more. All right. So, guys, I believe you are blessed, and I'd like to hear from you what you think about today's video, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.